What's going on everybody? Time for another unboxing. One of my patrons, Ted Harrington, one of my top contributors actually, sent me a couple of packages and I'm gonna open them up on camera right now. I think there's movies and CDs in here, so let's see what he got. Let's start with the first package here. Let's go ahead and rip this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. We got Hypocrisy Abducted. I've actually never even heard of that band. And Death Scream Bloody Gore. <laughs> okay. Sounds like it might be some heavy shit. <laughs> I've actually never heard of either one of these bands, so I'm really curious to check that out. I love discovering music I've never heard before because once in a while you find a hidden gem. So hopefully we got some hidden gems in here, Ted. I think this one's CDs as well. So we'll go on to this one. Let me see. Nope, I was wrong. One CD and one movie. All right, so we've got... Napalm Death Scum, another band that I've actually never heard of. They all have death in the name, it seems like, <laughs> except for Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy Death. Again, that's probably something that's probably going to be pretty heavy. It's like, what is it? Jesus Christ, there's like 60 songs on here. Holy crap. Well, if that's not going to give me a sample size of this band's catalog, I don't know what will. Very cool cover. The Car. Now, I know about this movie, but I've actually never seen it. So this is cool. I love Christine. And everybody always compares Christine to the car. They're kind of like the, the Armageddon or the, the Dante's Peak and the volcano thing where they came out around the same time. Maybe about, let's see, when does this come out? 1977. So yeah, maybe a decade behind, somewhere in there. But I love evil car movies when they're done right like Christine. So this one, a lot of people say this one's better than Christine. I will find out and check that out. So thank you, Ted. That's pretty cool. The car. I remember hearing about that from a friend of mine for the first time that does not watch horror movies, so it was weird that he knew about it. Last one, guys. All right, got a couple more CDs and a couple more movies. Let's see what we got. Uh, midnight Movies, we got a double feature. We got Deranged and Motel Hell. I've actually never heard of Deranged. I just watched Motel Hell for the first time last month, I believe. I picked up the Scream Factory. Motel, T Ugh. Motel Hell is pretty cool. Let's see, I don't know. I'll read a bit more on that later, but Deranged, I've actually never heard of, but that's cool. If it's gonna be something similar to Motel Hell, it's definitely gonna be worth checking out. Cathedral, the Ethereal Mirror. Now that is another band that I've never heard of, but you look at the back and they're all just chilling. This looks like halfway between the 80s era and the 90s era where they're just kind of, hey man, you wanna play some music, man? <laughs> I've never heard of it, that's pretty cool. And another one from Death. So Death Symbolic. Now these guys don't look like a band named Death. They look like almost Leonard Skinner style. They got long hair. The one dude's got the Vinnie Paul thing going on. I think of Death and I think of guys that are wearing makeup and fucking blood and stuff like that. So maybe it's not as heavy as I think. Maybe it's actually going to be more kind of 80s classic rock. We will find out. And the Feast Triple Feature. Now I have actually never seen any of these movies. So that is awesome because I've always heard about them. The monsters look wicked as hell. I don't know if, let's see, from executive producers Wes Craven, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Chris Moore. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Maybe this came out of their little, what's that little HBO show that they did for a while where they kind of had screenwriters come in? I don't remember. Maybe it came out of that. Cool. So what do you guys think of the Feast movies? Which one's the best one? Is it the first one, the second one, the third one? Are they all good? Tell me down below. I'm actually looking forward to checking that one out because that monster looks badass. And I love a great monster movie. I actually watched one today that is not a great monster movie that you'll see my review for very soon. I'll give you a hint. Rhymes with Meepers Beepers. Anyway, thank you so much, Ted. These are some really cool things. Things that I would have never picked out myself, but I'm hoping there's going to be some hidden gems in here because if you've seen any of my reviews for the movies that Ted has picked for me, he's got a really deep cut taste where he pulls out movies for me to check out that I have never even heard of. We did The Apple over on Jurbania. We did Evil Speak on my channel. And even though those two movies I didn't care for, I'm hoping some of these I'll actually be on the other side. Maybe I can give a really positive review for that and give Ted something where I'm smiling in it instead of going, why, Ted, why? So thanks for all this stuff, Ted. This is awesome. Well, that does it for this unboxing, guys. Please like and share this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Very interesting video to check out my channel for the first time on, but I promise there's tons of other cool stuff on there. 
Speaking of cool stuff, if you want to check out my social media links, I got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and my Patreon page, which is the whole reason why me and Ted have this relationship where I get all this crazy cool stuff from him. And if you want to check out some other ways to really contribute to this channel, help this channel grow, but get a lot of awesome exclusive content for your eyes only, including the ability to choose a review for me to do for you like I have done for Ted twice now, check all that out at my Patreon page down below, patreon.com slash Cody Leach. And if you want to check out some more of my videos, guys, as always, you can check them out by clicking right over here.